It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on. Nah, hell no. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He giving you two. I mean, he giving you two. <laughs> Put the girl back on. Okay. Like said, okay. Which one you like better? Put the girl back on. Let her pop her shit. She go hard though. She no, go, she go real. No, she go for real. I'm fucking with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. like that one. I have to show both of them love. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. D- Jamaica, Dana, the host. Huh? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what what did you say? Jamaica is here. Okay, I okay. I, I'm you know I'm st- after after 18 years. I'm still trying to figure all this out. Okay, okay. I say got man, you. check it, man. We got a a beautiful guest in the house today, y'all. Somebody who don't really need an introduction. I'm gonna be honest with you. Everything I ever seen in her, I've been watching, man. And and dang, she she flies. She dope. Yeah. Uh, she work hard. Work hard. So I like that, man. Check it, man. K Breeze is in the building. What up, K Breeze? Oh, what's what popping? Y'all? I shot hey, favorite rich hey, homegirl, K Breeze. Hey. Hey. Cause I, you know they only have bosses here, so you know oh. it was only right I came. <laughs> you had to show <laughs> up, right? Nah, for sure. So. Uh, Man, you know, uh, you know how we always started off, man. We, this yes, how we get we y'all every time. Okay, we be wanting to hear who you are, who you were, okay, and who you want to be. Before you know what I'm talking music, about? Before okay. any of that, yeah, yeah. Tell so we us. get all the way into just because what we look at is it's a lot of people that listen and tune in our podcast. We on Apple, Spotify, right, uh, Google Podcasts, and and we on YouTube. And somebody, some young girl out there, she's striving to be an artist, right? And we want to paint that picture for, especially our little young black. Black girls, nah, you know what I'm sure. saying. So, just tell us how how you how you ended up. Not only just want to be an artist, but somebody might hear a certain situation that you had faced in the past and yeah. be like, "Man, that's where I'm right now." Yeah, mm. and to know that you overcame that situation, dope, you know what I dope. mean? Yeah, for sure. So, what's up with it? She a little ble- uh, background about me. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, I was born in Oak Cliff. Oh, uh, Oak Cliff. Uh, you know, one of the most notorious is neighborhoods in Dallas. Like we be Which now, one? like what? everybody know Oak Cliff. Like, uh, yeah, what, what part of uh, Oak Cliff? Would you really go inside Keystone okay. Westmoreland? Ooh. Uh, I'm from uh, Briar Gate Apartments. When you say that, I gotta know since I'm not really from here. I want to know what makes Oak Cliff so notorious. Uh, not even um on a negative tilt. Right. I'm just saying, period. Like we kind of the heart of, of Dallas. Like all the culture come from us. Okay. Like. From um, the way we talk, the lingo, the way we dress, um, a lot of the fashion starting out clear. Like, really? you see a lot of the dudes, they had a shag haircut. Mm-hmm. The ducktails, that's kind of like a Dallas thing. Like people on the but other side. But it started in Oak Cliff. Um, I would say it started in Dallas because I okay. seen different hoods, but I feel like Oak Cliff niggas were at the best. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just a certain charisma, and, and I don't know. It's something that's just in our genetic code when you from Oak Cliff. Okay, I yeah. got you. So I so, was. I so, was. so let's let's talk about it. Let's get into it. So you yeah. come up, sisters and brothers. Nobody, yeah. you just on your own. It's just. I'm the up? golden child. I'm the only child. Wow, mm-hmm. that's dope. Yeah. Mom and dad. Uh, all my brothers and sisters are like people I met, like uh-huh. my best friends that became okay. family on some shit. Okay. But I'm really the only child. Um, single parent home. Yeah. Uh, I never met my dad. Already. So mama held it down. My mama was yeah. a gangster. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you knew who your dad was? And you uh, just never met him? Or? I knew who he was, but I never met him. I never got to meet him. Oh, um, yeah. my mom. Is he still living? I don't think so. Okay. I don't even know. You don't know? No, you my mom. Asked? Huh? Have you ever asked her? Uh, Really, he kind of lost topic. Okay. Uh, my mama. Just passed in March, wow. so I just lost her. Man, I'm sorry hey, to man, hear you'll that. never be able to feel that spot. I, nah, I know I lost real. mine in mm-hmm. in '96, and she was, I was 23, 24 at the yeah. time, and uh, yeah, 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 that's something else because it, you never feel that spot. Yeah. And but but you always you always you always can talk to her. Right. You know what I'm saying? I still nah, been talking to sure. her. I go outside. May I may sound crazy <laughs> when I'm in the backyard or I'm in the garage or something. I, speak, I yeah. talk to my mama. I mean, nah, I, for sure. I'll be like, you know, the conversation we used to have, yeah. you know, it'd be like that, you know. So, man, I, coping like, with that going to be different. Nah, for sure. I feel like when I lost my mom, that was my first real heartbreak experience. Right. I really feel like something kind of died in me. Yeah. But also something else began in me. That's if that it. makes sense. Yeah, no, right. it make a lot of sense. So I'm at the beginning of that right now. Yeah, yeah. Um so like yeah, she was my best friend though. Like mm. 
our relationship was like out of this world. Like wow. people would wish they had that type of relationship. I, yeah. I'm talking about like since I was young, I always been thugging. My mama would take. I was 12 years old. My mama, I was throwing parties at little clubs and scatting oh, rings. Really? My mama, the mama that's taking all us out. Um, y'all gotta find a ride home while I drop y'all off here and stuff. Yeah, like that only just a cool made mom. y'all tough. Yeah, That's for really sure. What it is. For she sure. made y'all tough. For she, sure. What did she did she die of cancer or something? Um, I'm not sure why she died. We thinking it's a heart attack, but we okay. still it's too still early to call it. it yeah, we so waiting. It was, ex- it was unexpected. Yeah, it, it was random. Anything. Like she didn't have bad health or anything. Yeah, it was just mm. random. You like, know, random. that's why I always tell people, you know, you gotta live every day like it's your last one. Nah, for I, sure. I, I really do. You gotta talk no, to seriously. people, hug people. I told everybody on the tell show I when you. I when I started this yeah. podcast, it was when Kobe. Brian died. Yeah. Now I stopped because COVID hit for a whole year. Yeah. But we was here, and yeah. I, I and I told people, you know, you didn't know Kobe really, but at the end of the day, you should be hugging and and your kids and the people that you got that's dear to you right. that's here. You need to love them more and hug them harder tonight. You know, right. stuff like that. So right. when you got an opportunity, you got to love and hug. Nah, man. For you sure. know what I'm saying? And age, death has no age. Nah, for real. So you got to tell your kids and explain to them about death because it. It's not only for you, yeah. Because you know you think, oh, your kids gonna be here forever because they're younger, but it can go either way, yeah. So you edu- if you leave before them, you don't want to leave like your mom, yeah. Leaving you, you don't want to leave you where you, you weren't able to handle it because you have so many for people sure. who break down, don't know how to go on without a person and for all sure. of that. So you want to be able to tell that person that, hey, when I'm gone, it could be twenty years from now, it could yeah. be forty years. I want you to move on with your life. No, I want sure. you to love. I want you to do this. Sure. You want to say those things. And some people be like, man, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody wants to talk about that. Right. But you need to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just a little bit. When you went to school, where'd you go to school at? Um, I went to A.W. Brown Elementary. That's on Red Bird Lane. Uh, I went to school in DeSoto for middle school. I went to Hampton Preparatory. Okay. And then I graduated from a school called Triple A Academy mm-hmm. um, on Ledbetter. Oh, Growing yeah. up, I played basketball. Could you? Hell yeah. Man, come on, dog. <laughs> I got a basketball scholarship to college. Bro, bro you really could get out there. Nah, for real. Nah, position, position, nah, what position did you play? Come on here. Uh, position? Really, whichever one I had to, because at the time, you know, girls. You that good. Yeah, girls weren't really tall. I'm 5'7", so I was kind of big. So if we playing a short team, coach might put me in the post. Yeah. But really, I was like point guard, shooting guard in college. But I played everything in high school. Where did you go to college? Uh, McMurray University so in you Abilene. Were you were yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I thought basketball was gonna be the way up for sure. Man, I but you know what? I feel like I was kind of brainwashed and tricked into that though. Yeah. How and why? Um, cause I feel like as an athlete, no disrespect to athletes or nothing like that. This is my connotation and opinion of it. We can I feel like after I stop, I stop playing because I ain't loving no more. But yeah. um, I feel like being a like a child athlete is yeah. kind of like. Slavery in the sense Yeah Yeah I get it I got good and bad out of it But mm-hmm. I'm like bro What if I would have been Like I, we would practice Three times a day Like I was in AAU Like I was a real hooper So like With that other time Like damn What if I would have started music earlier Yeah And start like That same energy I was putting into Did you basketball have a love, You had a love for music yeah, early on I started rapping at eight So my damn. big cousin He kind of helped raise me too Along with my mom and my aunt and um, he looked like Tupac. He bald headed. Mm-hmm. Really? He got the Thug Life tattoo, and he had a studio in the house. So as a little girl, he taking me to school. I'm in my car seat rapping Tupac lyrics early, you know. Really? So um, he he did music and recording and stuff. I recorded my first song with him when I was, I want to say maybe 11, but I was rapping at eight. Like it's little. We got little VHS videos of me, mm-hmm. the eight year old me rapping, which that's I plan dope. to gonna put out sometime. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna put, put out a video. Be nah, for real, that's what I'm gonna do. That'd be Man, cool. so you once you when did you get serious about the music? Uh, I want to say about three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah, Why I wanna so say, long? I want to say 2017. I got serious. Why it took so long? Okay, because I was hoping again. I okay. thought I was finna hoop. So she's still young. And you fin? How old are you? I'm 24. Okay, so you finished college. Did you finish? Nah, I dropped it. But look, I'm finna tell you this. So boom, I dropped my song. And um Was it popped there? No. I dropped a song that was a feature, right? Okay. I dropped it. I'm sending it to everybody. This is my first song. And I and at this time I, I thought you hit it off the bat. Look, like. I'm going through it with uh basketball. Like, I don't think I love this no more. I went to a school, it was kinda um a Caucasian school, right? Mm-hmm. And it was a lot of politics. I didn't know that. 
Shit, if your parents sponsor the team and then they put money into the team, you probably gonna get a little more love. Yeah. And so a lot of that was going on. Mm-hmm. And I was maybe one of three black girls on the team, and all three of the black girls, we was good. We was colder yeah, yeah, yeah. than the of white course, girls. Of course. So we start they start playing them games to where I'm whooping this girl every day in practice, like I'm going out. But then you playing me not that much time or find trying to find a reason like I'm doing something bad. Like, that's why you're not putting me in. But in reality, it's because these people's parents are paying you. That's right. So it was some weird stuff going on, which kind of made me, I ain't going to say just made me lose my love. I was like, I don't really want to do this. I've really spent all my life doing this. So everything um, happens for a reason. Exactly. So I said, you know what? I'm in school. I'm like, God, I think I'm going to quit this team. There it is. But I don't want to quit something without starting something else. I Like, all I've done growing up is rapping, dancing. And mute in uh basketball. So I was like, let's see what rap gonna do for me, God. And if this for me, like show me. This when I first start understanding the higher power win. Ain't that so? So uh I made this, I did this feature with my partner Young Nick. We dropped the video. I'm sending it to everybody, or all rappers. Wow. At the time, Mo Three was the hottest rapper at the time. Yeah, yeah. I sent it to him. As soon as I sent it to him, he DM'd me. He was like, Hey, I wanna sign you. I'm like, What? And he was like, I wanna sign you. So he took me under his wing for about two years. Nope. Uh, I went my separate ways from him and his camp because kind of how they was doing business. Mm-hmm. I ain't like how they did it. But you know, I, I, let me, let I got me, my I got the game I needed, and I just moved along. But let me let me just say something, man. Just phases of life. Yeah, That's for sure. All. Exactly. I mean, it people, ain't no. You know, it, it ain't no hard. No, feelings. no, no. People evolve, and a lot of times we had to learn. Even being here for 15 years, yeah. we had to learn to let people walk in and out of our lives. Exactly. And we had to get used to that yeah. with tough skin to say we we cool, right. but it's okay for you to leave. It's okay right. for you to come because that's how you learn right. where God wants you to be as you position yourself. Yeah. Something that you said was God. You kept saying, mm-hmm. okay, God, if it's for me. See, that's the key yeah. key, and key element. Right. And I dropped my first song. Mo 3 was the hottest rapper in the city. Oh, yeah. So I'm like... That. This nigga fuck with me and like so God was, pretty much put it there. Exactly. That was a sign. That was, yeah. that, that was what he you needed. He stamped it and I dropped out of college and went back to Dallas wow. and started pursuing but, music. Wow. So so that that's crazy. And 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 so did you and him ever do anything together? Got a, we got about four unreleased records that I still have in my you, email. You got them? Yeah, I got them already. But if you hear them, you gonna t- you can tell I was eighteen on the song. That's you fine. feel me? Yeah, but that's so, dope. But yeah, I got but them forever. Can't you remake them though? Yeah, I was about to say you can redo your you side. Redo your yeah. side. Yeah, because yeah. I would to be honest with you, because nah, your career sure. is taking off and yeah. you're so dope, man. Yeah, I mean, but it's kind of it's kind of um, bittersweet wanna, now. Yeah. now that yeah. he not here. No, nah, but it's still like I talked to Mr. Lee the other night. Mr. Mm-hmm. Lee did uh, he did uh, Tupac's album after he died. Yeah, he did um, he did Pimp C album after he died. Yeah, and he he did Blue Laces three. Oh, uh, there were two and three. Yeah. He actually got three coming out with Rick Ross. We just mm-hmm. talked about this the other night. All right, so it's okay. There you go. You yeah. should do him justice because that's what he would want. He would want his legacy to move, live on. Yeah. You see where I'm coming from? And yeah. you dope as hell. And you can always do like where a percentage of, the, of any money you make go to back kids. to the family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know kids. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I got some crazy records with him. Um, I actually, we did drop one record that was on his album. It was called Gangsta Love 2. The song was called Drunk Love or Drunk, Drunk Sex. It was called Drunk Sex. It was good. Did you like uh, it? Yeah, it was cool. It was like one of my first times first in the time, studio yeah. with him, and especially learning like this singing shit, like with auto tune and, my, and my melody. Yeah, he taught me a lot of that. I learned a lot. Of, I picked up a lot of that from him. Wow. Um, so, how would you describe Mo Three? I never got to meet him. Um, like him as a person or artist? Yeah, him, him as him as a, a working both. with him. Both. Okay. I, you saying both? Both. Okay. Yeah. Um, as a person, like he's just a regular dude. Yeah. Um, but as an artist, is more what I was into. Woo. Like, as far as his work ethic and how he how he, how he influenced you, he had a great work ethic. Um, I would watch him go in the studio. At this time, I was writing. Me, I'm a writer. I I don't know. I like writing stuff down too because it's kind of therapeutic in a sense. But um, he wasn't really no writer. He'll hear a beat and just go in there and just say this hard yeah. shit without nothing. Wow. He ain't do no drugs. He ain't do no alcohol. Wow. Um, real sweet. Yeah. Um, funny guy. Yeah. Uh, just a hard worker Like Damn. about his business A lot of people Try to paint a bad picture About him But really He just like Everybody else Yeah If somebody want This then that's what it, They gonna, gonna get, get. You but know what I'm saying It's just like you, People become What you make them In the environment That you're in Right for sure So, so if somebody Come at you in yeah. a way Or whatever's going through You you develop around That exactly. whole scenario So sometimes, I get it and Sometimes you can be A good person But yeah. hell Like you can be an angel But you got devils around you yeah, And they yeah. can taint 
the view of when I'm exactly. looking at you. Definitely. Like, definitely. I could tell everybody, like, bro, this is my best friend. They, they great. Everybody like, nah. And I'm like, what do y'all see that I don't? Yeah. But sometimes it be the people around you that yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you, hey, you messed I just, up. I like the way that you, you, you got something that a lot of people can't say that they was signed. What I mean, did he, yeah. did he have other female? You know, that, uh, I think he did, but it was never like on no paperwork thing. No. It was just like he was trying. Yeah, but yeah, that's like, dope. For that's real. dope. You got something. That nah, that's a have. blessing. Yeah, for and, sure. And at, at the end of the day, one day, yeah, one day, one of his kids may get older. And they may want to know about something that yeah. happened with him, and they can talk to you. Yeah, because sure. you be looking for that. When yeah. you, they don't. They young. They're they too kid. young to. They don't take too young to remember. So at, at some point, maybe they pull it up on the internet or see that you had dealings with him and yeah. want to seek you out just to understand. Yeah, you know. So that's the stuff. That's what this all about. Nah, for just real. making sure that these these avenues out there that it can help somebody else that might need to see something. Yeah. So when you when you when you when you think about it. Um, when you think about um, the music and, and everything that you put together and pushed uh, into this whole realm, do you feel like you where you ought to be? Um, no, and the reason I say that is because me, the type of person I am, like I don't expect everything to fall in my lap. I kind of fall in love with the process of growing and changing every day. So, I don't think I ever just be like, okay, like I made it. Like me, I always want more. Mm -hmm. um, I get that. And yeah, like I kind of, I like the grind. I like the hustle. Like since forever, I always got it out the mud. I made something out of nothing. Yeah. And I feel like just having that type of work ethic. Yeah. Especially when you made it and you get you getting M's and you know everything straight, keeping that same energy. That's mm -hmm. that's what I'm on. Uh, so. You want to go ahead so next. what's the most difficult looking back on your life when you first started yeah. till now what would you say would be a challenging moment in your life being yeah. a female rapper that you couldn't name i would man i was just about to say that um really everybody trying to have sex with you man i had some people on here we hear everybody that all the trying time. to have it's sex annoying i've yeah. seen some things from big artists that yeah. I could not believe these girls show me. I'm like, are yeah. you serious? He like said, what? And, mm -hmm. and yeah. it showed and said, that's his number right there. And I'm like, right. are you serious? Yeah. It's like, it's like it's they a think woman. you owe them something. Nah, it's just like, we got to work 10 times harder because like we, it's like we're a shiny object that everybody want, right? So it's like, they'll play friendly like they want to do business but in, at the end of the day, they just trying to get, right. get some. Right. <laughs> wow. But, that's why oh. I was going to ask you. I know oh, I was going to ask you about oh, how was it when you first went in the studio and Mo Three was there and, yeah. and other men was around. Yeah, was he protective over you or? Did yeah, he, definitely yeah. for sure. Like That's he, what I would he, thought. Like he was like, "Hey, y'all, don't, don't none of y'all. She, yeah, she not no ho, none, none of that. She an artist. She like when she like sis. So y'all treat her like that. Dope. He ain't never come at me crazy. Or I just like wanted that. to put that yeah. out there so nah, you know that sure. need to go out into the way. A know? lot of the dudes that's around me, like my manager, Supreme, um, they my team, they don't play about me. Like niggas know come correct. You know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I think it helps because I've heard a lot of people say when you have a team and yeah. a good manager, it yeah. helps you deflect certain things rather than when you're just independent and you're trying to do it yourself. Then yeah. you get more of that type of energy from guys trying to, you know. Yeah, for sure. So do you still get that now? With yeah. You, having, well, you still? Like, my, like, yeah. A lot of my friends like me, boys and girls shit. But, um, like, they don't come crazy. They might say something crazy on the internet, but in real life, like, they approach me on it. Like, do. nah. Nah, they don't do half It just stuff be crazy. Like. What's the craziest DM trolls? you've ever gotten? Um, Good and bad. A good and bad. Because I know you probably gotten uh, some good ones, too. I would say... Um, boom, I got a DM. I'm going to say good first. Okay. Um, Jazzy Faye DM mm -hmm. me yeah, and he dope. told me like I was hard. That's dope. Um, me and him probably finna do some work soon, that's, that's like dope. coming up. So I would say that's one good one. Yeah. Uh, a bad one. Just people sending threats like they gon' you know whoop me or something. Yeah, yeah. It be like that. Yeah, like threats. Let me ask you this: uh, Did you you work with Duffy some right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, DJ for sure. Duffy. What, what was was she, she manager um, or what was y'all situation? Yeah, she was a part of my management team. Okay. She actually helped me nail my first record deal. Oh, and that's when I dropped pop it. Uh, yeah, I signed okay, my first okay. deal. That's Boom! Dope. She helped me that's lock dope. that in. That's dope. That's dope. Um, we gonna get into some songs now. 
Um, I, I want to ask you about a few of the things that okay. you've accomplished um, and what was the process of, of, of it when you done it, okay? Okay. First, let's talk about Pop That. That's, okay. that's the elephant in the room. You right. You know what I'm talking about? That's, mm -hmm. the, that's yeah. the one that when I look at it, uh, I seem like you 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 got a lot of people on, on there with you, don't right. you? Right. Uh, yeah. The remix. Yeah, 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 the remix. The remix. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to ask you how you put that together. But let's see. Let's talk okay. about the process of Pop That. How did you come up with that? So Pop That was originally just a dance move that some dudes from Oak Cliff was doing. Okay. Um, one of them reached out to me. I'm like, hey, Breezy, you a dope rapper. We got this dance that every time we do it to any other song, to any song, everybody doing it and they like it. Can you make a song specifically for it? And I'm like, yeah. So I make the song. They liked it. We started making little videos on Instagram, dancing to it, and it mm -hmm. went viral. Like everybody wow. was just dancing to it. It was on the radio. Um, I started doing a DISD school tour. Dope. Um, and that whole tour started just because my little cousin, he was telling people at school, like this song y'all singing, that's my cousin. <laughs> and they like, nigga, you blind, ain't that's your cousin. My people and too. then he called me, he was like, Man, can you come to our homecoming? Cause they don't believe you my cousin. And I was like, Okay. And then his teacher really called me, like, hey, can you come to homecoming? I came to one homecoming. And it was when I familiar. tell you, I walked out there, they screaming like I'm Michael Jackson or something. Yeah, they make you feel good. And um from there, every other school, hey, I don't know what this is or what you doing, but can you come do that here? Wow. And um I really love kids and giving back to the community. So That's I went dope. to Island Schools free, DISD, Arlington ISD. How did it make you feel? Uh, Fort Worth. Um, it made me feel good it because feel I, good. I know how I feel to be in their shoes. Yeah. Especially like it's a bunch of little hood kids, you know, that ain't really seen nothing. So by them seeing me, touching me, feeling me, hearing me, um, taking pictures with them, I'm letting them know like you can do this too. Like you gonna be like this too when you get older. So yeah. Um. That's dope. Did the school tour. Still doing shows from that record. Um, still making a, a hell of money. Yeah. Like, a great living off of it. Um, again, it just, the internet, it hit the internet and went crazy. And the streets ain't had no choice but to rock with it, too. So, so, so on that remix, you had... Mm -hmm. You had Lil Runny. Right. You had, uh, what's Trap Boy? Trap Boy. And Yellow? Yellow and Asian Dog. How'd you put that together? Um, It was, a, at the time, it seemed like... A lot of music that was coming out of Dallas was like beef songs. Yeah. And it was Dallas beefing with Dallas or Fort Worth beefing with Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, hmm, what if I put all the top dogs on this song and we show that it is unity? Like, yeah. it ain't no pressure on nothing. So that was my purpose of doing it. And so I just wanted to show like, hey, like, everything ain't all bad, but everything ain't all good. But, like, we can link up and do this. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. You, you. You definitely are one of the, uh, I mean, most creative with your video mm. process, and and when, sure. with you and Ronnie, little Ronnie, yeah. I knew that was with this last one y'all did. Uh, that, yeah, I mean, head yeah, 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 the headhunters. I was just cool. like you, like, like I, I be thinking about Missy Elliott. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I thinking, am. I'm the like, new way Missy Elliott for sure. And, and the way you be, and she accepted too. Yeah, no, but how, for sure. yeah I, I didn't, I didn't want to offend you by saying it because yeah. it's, it's what I thought about. Nah, she the goat. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I'm like, you know, maybe you want to try to create your lane or whatever. But I'm like. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, she's uh she's very creative with what she, what she processed and yeah. it, it stapled uh, a point in time. Yeah. And so now I look at you and I'm like, man, she got it. Like, nah, seriously. Like, it, it's and look, it's it's like it's the, all of the elements of her though. And I got a little bit more. I got a little bit more that she ain't have. Well, That's I don't right. know if she had, but um, she was a producer. I mm -hmm. produced my records. Like wow. I actually produced the pop that beat mm -hmm. alongside another wow. producer. Wow. Who taught you um, to do that? My brother. He was a producer. Okay. And he showed me, and I'm like, all right, bitch. And I just pick up shit real easy. I'm a fast learner. Um, I'm a, also an audio engineer, so I record all my songs and mix and master. Wow. And I record a lot of artists in the Dallas area as well. Um, uh, so I make beats. I record. I um. Right, I write for a lot of artists too. A lot of artists will come to me like, "Hey, you dope, bro! Like, can you make me a song?" So I write the same thing Missy did. People come to me, Breezy, can you make a script for my music video? I wanna, you know, a thing. They'll pay me for that. Wow. So, like, in all those aspects, those are some stuff she did that a lot of people don't know. They no, just no, know no. her songs. And so stuff. you are an all-around artist, right? Exactly. But whereas the business side, where would you think that you stand? Whereas the business. Of artistry, yeah. From a one to ten, where would you think you are right now? I say right now I'm at a good seven point five, 
And I'm gonna hit an eight About next month <laughs> Cause I really study this Like Okay Some people just rappers Cause they think it's cool They want popularity And they think they gonna Accumulate money But the money come Out of what you put in it Literally Like I don't work a job uh, I'm blessed to say that But Like if I didn't put the energy Into it Like God Like this all I wanna do I quit my last job I had a $400 check I was working at QT I was like man I can't, I'm tired of working I overnight I can't do this no <laughs> more God Like please show me something else And he showed me other ways I can create my own Little businesses And hustles And Just do them And make it easier for me To do the music You, you dope man Like I so, said I'm I'm telling you You dope And uh Runny, when Runny was here, you know, we talked about his video creativity, right? Mm -hmm. And for the way he direct and try to get his mm -hmm. to be the most interesting video. And I, when yeah. I looked at yours, I got that same vibe. Yeah, like, he's very creative. You know, like, yeah, that right. Runny. Same thing. And you, what's you crazy, like the female Runny, to be honest. No, for sure. I'm being real. And Runny, I, I've been knowing Runny since I was probably 12 years old. Wow. People don't know this, but I used to be a dancer back when the Dallas Boogie oh, movement. Oh, I got the exclusive, huh? Look, the Dallas Boogie <laughs> movement was popping. I was one of the only girls that could get out there and hit it like a nigga. You feel yeah. me? And I got a lot of respect for that. My wow. sister did as well. Her name, A. Tony. She the Shout one shoot my video. Shout out to A. Tony, man. Yeah, she shoot all my music. A. Tony films. And she good with it. Yeah. Not all real the good. Run, the video with me and running, she did that. Pop that, she did I that. I want on the show. A. Tony, you got to come on You got to come on Boss <laughs> Talk. Yeah, because I, nah, I like to. Sure. We I hadn't had a female. No, we hadn't. We had Twan. And she wanted the best in yeah, out of Texas yeah. I'm telling you we really. had Twan we had Heat HD we had a Cam God we had Sean with Ovid Media I do all of the visual yeah. guys I like the back scene the back scene yeah. people I love y'all too but yeah. I like I nah, want them to sure. get shine you know nah for sure cause yeah. they they play a they big work part. hard they, exactly. they are the reason it happens video's not easy <laughs> listen to me and visuals are important nah for sure how many visuals do you think you're supposed to have on each project or mm -hmm. how you laying it out isn't, See, isn't the album important now yeah Okay. I, I drop my work in in projects. Why? Um, my test and run for this was like popped out, drop, popped it, but I ain't drop no music after that. And people was wanting more. It's like we want to get to know you now. Like we like you. Like I'm a I fan. Think I seen some. I was wanting to ask you, and I don't want to okay. get it. Wanted to get away. But when popped that, uh, when you did pop that at Pink Lounge in uh -huh. March uh, 2020, yeah, um, that was right before COVID, or right when COVID hit. Right. So that had to take a toll on you, right? Right, definitely. Um, I was doing some shows, but shows kind of stopped when yeah, the clubs they, they when stopped. the clubs closed. So I had time to get to the music and create and stuff. A lot of stuff slowed down for me. How did you cope? Um, what was your money making venture at that time? Because you got to try to make money. Um, I started an online boutique. Okay. I sell streetwear accessories and clothing. Dope. So you know, I I sell basically like the high end looks for dope. affordable. Dope. Kind of like y'all. Uh, Already, you got you got to do it. <laughs> nah, man. for sure. You got to do it. That's and the it, hustle. Nah, for sure. So, um, really with me, I like okay. Yes, I'm Kay Breezy, but that's my brand. That's my business, right? Mm -hmm. I don't take nothing personal. Like, mm -hmm. my, my real name Kiki, so. Okay. Um, Like, Kay Breezy is Kay Breezy, but Kiki is Kiki. Like, this music don't make or break me. Like, yeah, yeah. for him, like, I got cousins, aunties, uncles, siblings that's depending on me. Like, no reps. Like, that rap stuff. It's just it's just a business, and you mm. know with business it can boom, yeah. it can stay the same, yeah. or it can fail. Yeah. Well, what's the difference between you, you? You said it too between the K, the Kiki and the K Breezy. What's the um, difference? If you had to describe this right. person, just like Dero came on and yeah. he has six, six three, three, and, and then he music. has Dero music, mm -hmm. and they're the two different personalities. Yeah, and I'm sure you'll have him yeah. by himself. So, all right, so Kay Breezy is your favorite your homegirl, crazy <laughs> energy. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kiki, she's spiritual. She be reading books, um, just chilling. Dope. Um, cooking up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know how people meet you and think you just finna be crazy. Oh, so I'm like, I got I'm stories. a regular I got person. stories like that where I yeah. meet, take people to meet people yeah. and they want that character. You know what right. week? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Kay Breezy is just a character. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a brand. It is a part of me, but really, it's like 15 people inside of me. Nah, so, <laughs> no, that's right. So, so, like, you know, just at the moment or depending on the situation. You might be mean Kiki or you might be mean Breezy, but right. stay the same. But it's like, 
you know, don't get them confused. Like, just wow. respect them. Respect both of them. Yeah. Shout, hey, man, shout out to uh, 88 before I get, man. For, yeah, shout for, out to yeah, 88 World, yeah, man. Yeah, that dude right there, he told me I had to get K Breeze on here. And then nah, he started working on it. Like, I got to get over here. Mm-hmm. He seen the point. He seen it. He was like, I got to get over here, man. Yeah. He, he like, one of the hottest producers, too. Oh, yeah? He been producing for maybe three months now, and... We got some crazy records. I'm on about the way. to have him on the show. Yeah, with you two more producers I'm gonna have. I think, I'm, have but I don't here. want him to know him. He like I, he came with uh, DJ Ice. I mm-hmm. don't want that. I want three that don't know each other, or two that don't know each other. Yeah. And I'm gonna put like him and Sergeant yeah. J. And I'm gonna put. I want to hear. But their that's process. hard because a lot of um, producers in Dallas they know. No, no, no. But they don't work together other. like that. Like these guys work together. So yeah. like if they was here together and all three of them had music yeah. together. I don't want them three to come together. Yeah. I want to make it to where it is. It's some different. Yeah. yeah I want them to Not talk like about them. the process. You know what I mean? That Not way our sure. people can listen. But let's get back to how K did you? Breezy, how did you get the name yeah. K Breezy? Um, who, who gave you that name? So my first name Kiki. Yeah, yeah Kiki. of course. Um, that's the K And then the Breezy Like people call me Breezy Cause like I'm just I, Again I got swag I got, I got charisma I'm so cool Like they like That's little Breezy Like yeah She hey. cool Like cool Breeze You hear me Already So um Yeah Everybody just man, started Calling me that it. And you like to see this Like I'm yeah, she, I'm K Shout Breezy. out to Dallas man I yeah. love when I get to, Like Dallas don't <laughs> Like they don't even know A lot of people Be trying to steal Our drip And mm-hmm. our swag mm-hmm. And everything But we got it You, you got to come on With it mm-hmm. man Nah hey, for real <laughs> We got it you, right here You can try to copy it But it'll never be Like the original nah. Oh, no, sure. no. So, top three artists of all time. My top three? Dead or alive. Okay. Any genre? Number one. Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Check it, man. Missy. Missy Elliott. Yeah. Number two. Number three. That's <sighs> always so hard. the hardest. Always the hardest. <laughs> Number three. Come on with it. Because everybody won four, but only can do three. My third win would have to be. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. She's giving it to us. Any genre. Lil Wayne and Missy Elliott made it to the made it to the uh made it to the list. I gotta say my girl, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, man. Shout out to Shamaria. <laughs> <laughs> that's my daughter. She loved Whitney Houston. She's over there talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's dope. Houston. That's a dope that's Whitney a dope Houston. top three. Mm, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. I like it. I, so so what's so good about Lil Wayne? Man, his boy, he the he the best rapper alive, Mill, really? for sure. Um, his bars, he kind of the originator of the melody, like making rappers start feeling like they can use auto tune and kind of wow. s- sing on mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Um, his videos, his energy, his look, everything, his whole hint, um transformation from like he kind of mm-hmm. started as like a hood project rapper, and he turned like mega star, Change like he was yeah. skateboarding yeah. and well, stuff. I'm sure the if he wasn't rapping and getting money, I'm sure he would never even think about no, doing no, no, things no. like this. No, he's trying to get outside of the box. Exactly. Who, like, you know, he don't want to be putting. And I a love that genre of people. Yeah, I love it. I yeah, love so. it. I love it. Do you have? Um, do you ever feel like you want, would like to go back to finish school? To I think I want to. I definitely want to. I don't know. What you don't know when or okay. yeah or what degree exactly, but I definitely want to. I've been tapping into real estate, so if How many I hours need you to, got, I, uh, for school, mm-hmm. maybe a hundred. Yeah, you were tired of you. Got, you come man, home. I ain't got. I ain't got that many little. You want to come home though? Yeah, like I wanted to just do music. music yeah, I wanted to do music. You can yeah. do online courses nowadays and yeah. just not even have to go back to school, yeah. so to say. For you, sure, you, it would probably be like a business class, real estate class, yeah, yeah, real estate yeah. degree or something. So but, if you had to, sorry, baby, go ahead, if you had you. to, um, bucket list wise, mm-hmm. where the music or the business is concerned, I'm not going to say just music, right. but the business is concerned. Give me top three things on your bucket list of having a business of with artistry, with okay. your business, with okay. your brand. Wait. Top three things that you. You have written down our goal that really I that I want to do that you want to do that you gotta achieve in your lifetime. Okay, I gotta get on billboards. I gotta do a record with who? Um, definitely Missy. Okay. Already, I gotta do a Missy record. Yeah, that'd be fly. And I want to produce for major artists, like produce songs. Mm-hmm. For major Anybody artists. in mind? Um, like Megan Thee Stallion. A lot of the girl artists, okay. Sizzle, Summer Walker. Okay. Have, have you, um, have you, uh, you 24, right? Yeah. Um, you ever men- mentored anybody or the little girls that made anybody ever looked at you and said, man, what do I need to do to get in the game? Yeah. They, okay. A lot of people ask me. I give advice as I can, but really I tell them, like, 
I mean, like, really, this is my journey. Yeah, correct. So I can't say that you're going to go through the downfalls or, or the ups that I'm going through. But I kind of give them a general answer of, you know, how you can do things. So... If you was going to start a podcast, what would you name it? It's going to be called Bunnies and Billions. <laughs> Man, are we talking Where about Where you get that name from? Because, like, different. I want everybody to come on there to be chill. Like, I'm going to have my bunny on. Like, we going to be thugging. You hear me? I'm going to get in whoever come That'll on there. Dope. If it's a girl, I'm going to have a bunny for her. If it's a dude, I have a do-rag for him. That'll be dope. And we going to talk being, That's like, dope. how to make money. Like That's Because, dope. you know, you have, um, what's her name? Does those chronic, um... The Bonnet Chronicles. Um, oh, see? I ain't even yes. seen it. Look, man. You ain't seen her? Um, uh, oh, Jesus. You I'm gotta picture put me on her, her face, but everybody's seen her. Yeah. Um, Bonnet Chronicles. That's that. Yeah, but they can't, be, they can't do it like you. Nah, for sure. No, nah, no. Nah, I done seen you doing it. Yeah. But I, no, no, no. You get Tammy, down. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Oh, Tammy, Tammy do it? Yeah, Tammy Roman, uh, Roman. R- Rivera. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't think I've seen it. You Ain't no way you haven't seen it. Yeah, the thing I want to ask you too is about slip and slide, like about them <laughs> yeah. old ladies. How'd you come up with that concept? Um, so I seen on TikTok like it was a thing that girls would dress up as old ladies and go out for real, like yeah, and yeah, be in yeah, the yeah, club. Yeah, 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 yeah. And people would think they old, but they really just dressing up as old. And I thought it was fun. Yeah, Tammy Roman. Oh, Roman. Well, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know Tammy, but I ain't even know she was doing bunny. Yeah, yeah. I need for years. Her. I need to follow her. Yeah, but but, I, but let's let's get back to slip and slide. I want to know about that. So yeah, so me and my friends, I was like, y'all, y'all are just like, do like greenies and get them let's do shoes. it. I'm like yeah, I was like, all right, get the walker, you get the cane, let's oh, get the really? wigs. How hard, was, how hard was the process? Just getting uh, it done. It wasn't hard. It wasn't at bad. All. Wasn't uh-huh. hard. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. that's dope. Um, it was another one as well. Um, I wanted to ask you about the one where you uh, featured Erica Banks, uh, mm-hmm. Rock Out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what what how did how did that come about? That video, it wasn't hard either. Um, at the time when look I, like you was really just hogging the whole video. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I see it. No. Look like you look like you were boss hogging it. I mean, it was real. Nah. But look, nah, <laughs> nah it, it was, was a good. It was a good yeah, video. Was a good I video. love y'all. The way y'all chemistry was, it was great. Yeah, it was just a shout uh, out Erica Banks. It was just a dope feature. Um. At the time, that's when Pop That was out, and we kind of linked up, and we yeah. just working. We both climbing was the ladder. She, t- was she would top off at the time? Yeah, she would yeah. be top off. That, yeah. So did they kind of make that come together? Uh, no, nah, it was just, just us. It was just a DM. Oh, it was simple as that. That's, that's what I love DM. about y'all, man. You know, so we in a we in a place now where people can do what they want. They holding themselves back. Mm-hmm. If you make a move, and you didn't try to make that move, yeah. and you got all this opportunity out here, and yeah. you didn't try... That's on you. You talking about Miss Ellie? Okay, hit her up. Nigga, nah, it's for so real. easy. I could DM her. Exactly. Stop and playing. Her email. Go on exactly. Or email. There's oh, so God. many different yeah. ways. No, yeah, stop playing, number, man. Text the number and they buy y'all the link. Who, exactly. Exactly. The no, 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 I'm going to tell you what I do. Tag if them. I really want them. Tag them. No, I go off and then look at their friends and the ones that no, they follow. Yeah. And, and then I go to the one. Listen, I, I don't. I call DJ Quick's uh, partner. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I say, nigga, where are DJ out. Quick? And he's like, oh, I get him for you. I'm and like, this the thing. Find their DJs. <laughs> and I met him before, Find their friends, they DJs. That's right. They got low followers. Right. And go ahead. And that's, I, gonna, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to use you, but <laughs> look. That's what it is. If you're hungry, you got to go eat. Nah, for real. Yeah, so I think, yeah, yeah, that's dope that you got to do it, man. Yeah. You got to get her. I can't wait to hear it. Nah, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be legendary this oh man because y'all both she, dope like, yeah. she ain't really been has she been doing she a lot been doing um, it? not really I think she been slow boogieing but the stuff she do drop it, it go crazy every right. time I right. think she be dropping like maybe one song every couple months or something if so. you could if you could talk to that girl that left college that day uh huh and she said she was going to pursue her music career yeah what would you say to her to help her to to, to move to yeah. her to, to get to where she need to be in a better way than where you are now I would tell her now you talking so, to yourself now. I would tell me, <laughs> um, I would have picked up the hustles I had, these extra hustles I got now, way back then. Okay, you so try I would have had the money to, to invest. Yeah, I would point at her in the direction like, "Hey, you need to do X, Y, Z," because it's crazy how you could be trying to do something and the people around you could have hustles and not even tell you like, "Hey, you should do what I'm doing." You know, mm-hmm. um, I would tell her to pick up them hustles. I would tell her. Like, really, she did a good job. She never folded over Mm -hmm. nothing. Like, Mm -hmm. the worst of the worst. Like, my mama just died, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still ain't folded. Most people would have hung it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You dope, though. You like, what would you say about um, Carrie? 
the um, you talking about the the girl that just got yeah. got that got was, was smoking that weed? Her mom, her mom had died. passed oh, away yeah. right before, and you know she. They say that's the reason why she was, you know, smoking, smoking and stuff like that. I ain't like gonna that. lie. I think that's all just a marketing scheme. Like, she probably got a, uh, a publicist to say, let's just use this. People try to use diff as an excuse for a lot of stuff. Mm. But she probably been smoking. But that's a- like, I feel like if she, bro, keep it gangster. Like, you from Dallas. Like, just say, I was smoking wood. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the Olympics. She trying to yeah. make it to. That was dumb on her. I'm not right. gonna lie. It's like, you, you, you just got better. these million yeah. followers. You want everybody to support you, then you do this dumb shit. Yeah, like, you yeah. make us look dumb. Real like, dumb. for real. I, I, I hope her friends told her that. Like, Carrie, if you watch, that was dumb, bro. Yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, come on, you could have waited until after the celebrating smoke, you know? Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Why no, you they, right. Why they not, why she ain't clean her system out? Why she ain't use somebody else's pee? That's easy money. <laughs> why she ain't use somebody else's pee? Nah, for real, you could have drank <laughs> her system <laughs> quick. <laughs> Hell, you mean? <laughs> Who is your manager? Who 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 let you get caught, bro? That's it. Nah, I wouldn't let her. I wouldn't let wouldn't her let go her out like caught. that. Nah, nah, for real. Yeah, my my uh, yeah yeah yeah. My, but the my only thing I say to her all the time. The only yeah. thing I say to her is that don't give up because she yeah. is very talented. Very don't young too. It. Look, now you, got, now you got now you got a million followers. Now you can start you a business. They gonna buy whatever you say. say. Look now, start your own weed strain. This that track pack. But, but watch, watch you this. hear me? Watch start this. your own weed strain. This, this that Olympic pack. Now the girl that whoever win the Olympic. Oh, we'll have a backyard bash, and I'll do make a pay per view event and get mm-hmm. paid because everybody wants to see that race. Easy, so I, not I, I, for I, real. I make me. You can do so much if yeah. you really want right. to do it. I, I'd call old girl the one that I got the fastest time with, yeah. the Jamaican girl, and be like, "What's her name?" You Jamaican don't even know your people. <laughs> Listen, man, uh, the girl that that ran the uh, she ran a uh, what did she run? She ran a ten six two. Yeah, and 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 that carry girl ran a uh, ten six four. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll link up. Nah, for oh sure. yeah, that's a pay per view event. Man, for yeah. sure. <laughs> like the Olympics. I told y'all we like to y'all get money. Y'all making the Olympics high, like. Veronica Campbell. Olympics. Veronica Campbell. Fuck they bring. Oh, yeah. no, Start your own not, stuff. Wait, Veronica. It's Shelly and Fr- Shelly and Fr- Shelly and Fr- Shelly Fr- yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a, who it is. Yeah, yeah sure. man, man. So, um, you, um, you had another song. You, you be freestyling on people beats and right, stuff. Right. Right. You did the Megan one, and yeah. then you did one more too. Um, I want to say, oh, you did that. That's on me. That re- yeah. when you remixed that, thing, yeah. when you brought that back for the yeah, female, for sure. So, so, and I, I was like, man. And every time, like you trying to kill them in these verses, like mm-hmm. you just want to eat on that thing. Mm-hmm. You're- <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't waste no verses. I don't waste songs. I feel like a lot of people. They ain't get where they want to get because they just be making songs about stuff that don't matter. Like, you got to get straight to it. I want to get straight to the point. I want you to feel whatever emotion I'm trying to get across. And this is... All right, let's, let's get to this music. Where does inspiration come from? Oh, you okay. Uh, yeah. my, ins- my musical inspiration? Mm-hmm. I think my life. Like, life? I feel like if I ain't do music, I'd probably be missed up. I'd be depressed and stuff. Oh, music man. is a therapy for me. Like definitely. Let's get to it, man. Let, I want. I want to hear. Hold on. I want. I want to hear something, man. We gonna go to five on it. Be hold on, man. Let me bring yeah. that back. Yeah, man. It's about to go hold down, on. man. Yeah. K Breeze in the building. Is that too? Is that too loud? Nah, it's good. If it's too loud, tell me because we'll turn it down. I don't want. Nah, I want to make good. show. I want to make show. She ready. She, she ready. She ready. <laughs> Check it, man. Say it, man. Check it. K Breeze in the building, man. This boss talk uh, one on one, man. I, it going down. Look, let me tell you about my life. Little bit about where I'm from and how I came up and go like this. Hey, look, 1996, I was born in Parkland Hospital. I started writing raps when I first learned how to scribble. And in the second grade is when I first learned how to dribble. I was hustling at the school, selling hot chips and Skittles. Woo! My mama did a thing, though. I ain't have a father. Most baby first words be mama, da-da. She, my first words was probably money, dollar. Ever since I can remember, I've been popping my collar. Look, in school, I was a scholar, but I dropped up out of college, though. I put down that basketball and picked back up that mic. Woo. Credit fucked up, I'm getting all these fucking student loans. Calling my mama, she gonna be like, you call me from jail phone. I'm gonna oh, no, like, I just, Check it down, man. Like, just, I 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 just, I
don't even want no more. <laughs> man, that's so dope, man. Nah, for real. Say, I'm, man, I'm, I'm I love it, bro. bro. No, don't do I, I, I don't want nothing else, nigga. That's too much, man. These niggas ain't ready to handle that. I want to hear one more. Nah, she, I, I see why you sitting over there, nigga. Don't try to play me, nigga. I be sitting over there, too, like this, she nigga. Is good. I, nigga, I wouldn't move. You're, yeah. you're, man, thank you so much, nah, man. That was sure. dope, bro. She's nah, good. She just summed up everything what? she probably just told yeah, us. Hey, man. <laughs> Stop, man. Hey, man, you got it. You know, I, I could be a road manager. You I, know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, I, I, we're going to lock in. I try to put my little coins together. Say, nigga, let me lie. Now I come to Atlanta, I'll be down there in two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Like, for real, for real, on some real shit, I'm really like that. Like, for real. Nigga, you can put any girl, any boy in front of me. I kill him. I believe you. You're like, for real, I kill him. Give me a beat. Give me some time to memorize my words. Oh, my God, Like, yeah, like, I'm that. was soothing, nigga. I be having everybody rapping. Ain't nothing. Nah, Say, man, ain't nothing like real, real rap, This man. some real shit. Man, man like I love real. it, bro. So, this some real shit. How I mean, long does it take you to write a song? To call uh, you better uh, calm me not, down. Not you know really, what I'm talking about? <laughs> not really long because, like, I already done been through a lot of stuff I be rapping about. Wow. Right now, I've been focusing on the sex rap, so okay. that's why I do the slip and slide and stuff because yeah, 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 yeah. that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And all of my friend, my fans, is strippers and freaks and yeah, and but you killing that too. Yeah, you exactly. Hey, you putting that together exactly. But I'm not giving you what every other girl giving you, but I'm giving it to you in another way, like but my way. Well rounded artist, mm, you can nah, do it however. Sure. Like you can, if I come to you and be like, hey, I want to paint this picture. That's what and I'm you, gonna paint. She gonna paint that picture. That's what I'm gonna and paint. I see for what's sure. going on. But the way how she rap, she almost to me it'd be like a like a person that could come and just freestyle Man. and yeah. from the top of your head, not yeah. even write it. Just the way yeah. in which how you rap. I can't. Like you'll do like yeah. battle rap and yeah, but I could do battle rap. That's what I can do that, but. Again, my brain so full of shit. Dope, man. I'm a produce like now I'm a producer. Woo, I gotta have my rap brain on for real. Like Ooh. it's like I unlock different pockets of my too brain. Many hats. Yeah, for sure. Man, so, nigga, I know why Mo Three came in. Nah, too. for real. He DJ, told me. DJ he said I'm Duffy, the fee- he DJ, said I'm the listen, female Mo Three. For real. Nah, for nah, real. Nah, listen, man. I know why now. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting here seeing it. I know. <laughs> I ain't no fool, nigga. I like money. So I <laughs> But I like your voice when you rap. I like the oh, way man. I like that confidence. I like the way how you do it. I'm yeah. like, hey, man, the mic smoking over there. I already know that nigga. I'm about to get a new pad for that damn thing. Nah, for real, nobody, <laughs> hey, nobody else can talk on this mic after this. <laughs> I'm going to retire that one. I'm going to put that one in the back, man. No, for nah, real. man, you dope, man. No, I appreciate it. For Lee, sure. Appreciate man. it. Breath of fresh air, man. Dallas in no, trouble, sure. man. Say no. K. Breezy the one. I can promise you right now. Oh, Cliff, man. Y'all better stand up, man. No, for sure. Hey, sure. man, give her roses while she here, man. No, for sure. Say, sure. I'm putting yeah. the cypher together. I'm going to try to get you on that thing for Boss Talk. Boss Talk cypher. I, I got my I got the girls. I'm picking the girls that yeah. I'm doing it with. You might want to put me with the boys. I ain't no, gonna lie. No, they, they ain't doing no boys. I ain't doing no boys. It's gonna be. No, I'm just playing. Be, I'm it's just gonna playing. be four or five playing. girls. Yeah. I'm paying. Yeah. I don't care. You put the beat together, I, though. I, you, make, I produce the beat. Yeah, 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 nothing. yeah, man. Yeah. You a beast, man. We can do the cypher at that party. Yeah, we both throw a party. We inviting RSVP and, yeah. you know, certain ones. That would yeah. be part of the entertainment. Yeah. yeah. That'll be dope. Yeah. That'd be dope. Yeah, yeah. Because most of the people, people gonna be there, most of them would probably be musicians. Yeah, celebrities, like people that been on the show. Yeah, we so. re inviting everybody to come and hang out. Yeah. You know, paying for everything, so, so. that everybody would have that air for it to tell yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, but if you wasn't on Boss Talk, know. you probably ain't gonna, gonna be in know. the building. Nah, for real, you gotta have a, a, <laughs> you a Boss be Talk page. Yeah, you hear me? Mm-hmm. For real? Or, or you getting text? You yeah. gotta pay yeah. extra. <laughs> That's it. You have <laughs> nah, to pay. For real. Nah, but so let me ask you, like, like what? Who would you? Who else would you, guys yeah. would, that you would like to work with? Um. What male artist would I like to work with? Definitely Kevin Gates. I love Kevin Gates. That's my boy. The one who's talking about CKP just dropped one with Kevin. Yeah, just um, they got the video and everything. Yeah, I got mostly all my Texas people. I want to work with Sauce Walker, definitely. Dude, I, he heard it right now in Dallas. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love Sauce. Um, and that nigga can rap too. I nah, love his real. style. He really be playing like I know it. He, he just having a good he time. Gets, exactly. He getting so much money. He don't give a fuck about music. Like nah, he getting, like he like. Y'all Whatever. niggas dying to go in here and say this and that. He'll go in there and have fun and still yeah, having a good time. go harder than you and entertain you at the same time. So. Okay, but let me ask you this now. Um, to be different, yeah. to cross over, to yeah. me, what artist, whether it be R&B or pop, would you want to collaborate with? Or it could be a rock. Okay. 
um, a pop artist I definitely be a feature with. That I really want to work with mm-hmm. is Justin Bieber for sure. What I about, always what be about the Bruno Mars? Oh, yeah, I love Bruno. Bruno. He will Ooh. make some crazy <laughs> shit. And he, he and don't I mind like going style. out there. Exactly. He'll go all the way out. We'll go back. You yeah, know, go yeah. back. Yeah, 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 that's dope. He probably will put me on some, some 70s shit. I ain't even know. Does he do anything anymore? I haven't heard, I haven't heard I think, from him. I think all his music be straight, like... No, when was the last time music? When was the last time he put anything out though? Oh, he been chilling. That money know. got good quick. Nah, yeah. yeah that well, money got good. It could be that, but it could be all the things that's going on in his life. That nigga, that yeah, money people. got good quick. Man. Yeah, I know that nigga got paid yeah. off all that he was doing. Nah, for real. So how can how can people get a hold of you, man? She didn't um, ask me. She didn't answer me. The R and B person. Oh, the R and B person that she would like to work with. Yeah. You wanted to say, uh, what's that nigga name? I want to. She don't want to work with Gene Wine and Tyrese and all them sexy <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so you did a song where you called out niggas, man. Like uh, all wet the, dreams, wet yeah. dream. What was that all about? You just wanted uh, to show homage to everybody, or con- some yeah. of them you jerk back, like nigga. I say this too. Well, well, see, some of them some hoe ass niggas, but I still wanted to mention mention, mention them. them, but not in a like Negative way. derogatory way yeah. necessarily. Because at the time it was a lot of diss songs. I was like, how can I talk about the people here, but not diss them? But talk about how I want to have sex with them. Wow, and so, you're so boom. dope, man. Yeah, you dope was, as hell. It was some, yeah. I knew, I knew you were dope. But yeah. now that I met you, yeah. oh my god, like wow, like the talent is hey, undeniable. No, for sure, appreciate you, it. Listen, man, you can't deny K Breeze is mm-hmm. a beast, mm-hmm. nigga. Mm-hmm. Say, man, and I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm rooting for you. You know when I, I get these people on, I'll be rooting. I'm rooting for you. Yeah. I will be. You gonna follow me today? I'm gonna yeah. be able to hit you up and be like, "Hey, yeah. where you at? Do you nah, need this?" Sure. That's the way I am, man. I love nah, hard, sure. bro. Nah, That's the way I am. Once I link with you, I'm linked. We locked yeah, in. Yeah, we locked in. For yeah, sure. me and Supreme Family. been on the on the phone ever since he uh, when he called. Yeah. Me, my wife like, why don't we get off that phone? <laughs> <laughs> he is on the phone. Every, yeah, so many people yeah, calling me. People is calling somebody me. else. The phone keep everybody. It's my time. My turn. Hello. Yeah, yeah, it's all good though. We gonna get there. Yeah. <laughs> she like, yeah, I love her look. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say, check it, man. So, so people can get a hold of you on, on on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram really my favorite platform. Okay. So, okay. Um, my Instagram name is K Breezy underscore the Great. Um, I have Twitter at K Breezy the Great. I have okay. Facebook K Breezy Ali. But I really like Instagram. I'm over That's Twitter. That's everybody. Twitter is. was like when I was sixteen. Yeah, but you still got people on there. Let me yeah. tell you something. Don't close no door. What happened to TikTok? Uh, see, I can't get on the way. Maybe you on, got to. I, I it's, listen, listen. TikTok and you hard. made for it though. No, it's, it's you bad. made You're still for TikTok. Young. You yeah. can't say you it's hard. made for TikTok. Your yeah. whole brand is a TikTok movie. Nah, for sure. I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, for sure. Like I got, I got I'm twenty, trying. I got twenty four thousand. Uh, Followers on TikTok, yeah, yeah. damn. I'm okay. a beast, my nigga. But you need to put me on. Well, like, I shot you out. TikTok you know what about? <laughs> <laughs> put our freestyle on there already and no, go sure. in. You know, we about that's gonna be a nice, dope spot right there yeah. for me. Say, so, check it, man. We thank you for coming on the man, show. Thank y'all for having we me. We love you, and at the end of the day, we wish you much success, right? Her freestyle babe? gonna get a lot of comments. You think so? We gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank y'all. Say, so, man. man, we love you, man, and hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.